Now we're ready to use Excel 2010 to calculate the variance in the standard deviation. We're going to look at the sample variance and the sample standard deviation. So I'm going to select the variance first. I'm going to select inside the cell. I'm going to go over to the uh, formula and I'm going to select the down arrow and go to more functions. If I'm in the statistical pull down, all I do is scroll down until I find variance. Now you have to be careful because there is variance.p, which is the population variance, and variance which is the sample variance. So we want to choose the sample variance since this is sample data. And I'm going to click OK and then I'll say which cells do you want to select. I will select those cells that I want by highlighting them. I could type in uh, B2 to B21 if I wanted. And then once I have that, it'll give me an estimate of what the variance is. And then I'm going to say OK, and I'll throw the variance in there. This, we do the same exact thing for the standard deviation. So again, I'm going to select the down arrow, go to more functions. And the same is true with the standard deviation. you got to remember that you have a sample and a population standard deviation. So when I get there, we have uh, standard deviation S which is the sample, and standard deviation.p, which is the population. So we choose standard deviation.s, we're going to choose OK. We'll select our data range, which happens to be B2 through B21, and hit Enter. And then it gives us an estimate for that, and then we're going to say OK, and it'll throw those values in there. Now you'll notice there's a lot of decimal places there. Maybe we don't want that many decimal places, so what we can do is we can highlight those two cells, go back to our home tab and then we can choose the number of decimal places that we want. So I want to reduce that down to two decimal places then we have our variance and our standard deviation. So this will give you, get you started on calculating the variance and standard deviation. We'll move into the five summary statistics next.